Now this is our family's favorite cookie jar, a personalized New York taxi. Only problem is the top was dropped a while ago and there's a pretty big hunk missing right here. Now I have some of the parts but not all of them so this is more than a simple glue back. It's one method I use for repairing ceramic. Now one of the biggest challenges I'll face in repairing an odd shape like this is keeping it in the right position while I work on it. So here's a little trick that I use. This is just a bucket of sand and if I take the top and kind of embed it in here like this I can pretty much let go of it and keep it in any position I want. I find this dual syringe very handy for dispensing equal parts of epoxy and hardener. Now thorough mixing is important but so is time. I've only got about three to four minutes to work with this adhesive. Because these pieces are so small a pair of self-gripping tweezers works better than my fingers. I've glued back all of the pieces that I have, but you can see that there's still quite a bit of material missing here. So I'm going to have to replace that. Out in my truck, I've got the perfect solution, an all-purpose polyester resin filler. It's quick setting, easy to shape, and will stick to just about anything. Each can comes with a tube of hardener. All I have to do is mix the two together. Now, the more hardener I put in the resin, the faster it will set up. I put quite a bit in here, so I probably only got about two minutes to work with this. What I want to do here is fill the cavity completely. In fact, a little overfilling is a good idea. When the material has reached a rubbery state, it's time to start shaping. I take off some of the excess by first paring it away with a sharp knife. I begin shaping the contours using a rasp. Then I wrap sandpaper around a dowel and start removing the tool marks and blending in the filler. After that, I switch to a very fine paper for a final smoothing. Well, I'd say that takes care of filling in that missing material. Now the only step that's left is to match the color. And to do that, I'm going to use these materials. These are artist acrylic colors. And I'll start with white. I thin the acrylics with water to make them brush out more smoothly. These paints can be intermixed with each other to create precisely the right color for a near perfect match. In this case, a little white and red gives me just the pink I'm looking for. Red stripes on the hat require less white. And the flesh tone for the hand is blended from white, red, and yellow. I'd say the color is just about where I want it. Now there's just one step left. A clear spray acrylic seals in the colors and adds gloss, making this repair practically undetectable. With all the traffic that this taxi gets, it's probably only a matter of time until there's another accident. But with this process, I can put this cookie cab back on the road in a New York minute.